So in this video, I'm going to be instructing you on how to sew a French seam. And a French seam is that really tiny seam that's self-encased inside the garment, um, mostly used for lightweight fabrics, like let's say silk chiffon, silk charmeuse, just something really light and airy. And it's a beautiful way to enclose the seam with and having a really beautiful finish on the inside. So when you start with your French seam, I you're going to put two wrong sides together. And then as you see, I hand basted it. And now I'm going to go ahead and stitch um, right inside my one quarter inch seam allowance. So I hand basted it a little bit outside of the seam allowance. So you just use your plain seam technique which is just your simple seam with the regular standard stitch length. And again, remember I put wrong sides together, basted it at about my, a little bit outside my quarter inch seam allowance because your French seam normally would have a quarter inch and a quarter inch seams that you take. So your complete seam allowance is a half an inch. And now I'm going to remove my basting, get that out of my way. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and with my little tool press the seams open. You'll be using a regular iron. And just um, excuse my hand. I'm trying to do this so it's not in the way, but sometimes it's difficult. Okay, so you're pressing your seams open like always to set the seam. Right? Like that. And you see there's just one quarter inch seam allowance there. Now I'm going to go ahead and press them flat. So now your seam has been set and you're ready to, um, so just flip it over and I'm going to go ahead and trim my quarter inch seam allowance down to about one eighth of an inch. Because you want to get it as small as possible but not too close where the fabric will actually start to have too much stress, right? So we do that. That's my one eighth, about one eighth of an inch left. So now my exposed seams are on the right side, but we, what we're going to do with this French seam is encase them with another row of stitching. So I'm going to finger press that nice and flat. Then I'm going to take my tool and just, you'll be using an iron. You want to make sure that the edges are nice and crisp because once you stitch this, it's done, right? So I'm going to go ahead and get it ready. I'm going to put a couple of pins to hold it in place. You want to not, I'm trying to show you where like the seam is. You want to actually make sure that the seam allowance is cut close enough so that when you do your other quarter of an inch seam, it doesn't get in the way. Again, I'm sorry for my hands in the picture. Bear with me. I'm hand basting right along that seam to hold it in place. I put a few pins, but now I want to hand baste it so that it doesn't roll or shift on me when I go to go ahead to um, stitch next to it. Especially if you're using silky fabrics or anything like that, you want to really control this French seam. Okay, so I've come again right outside my quarter inch seam allowance because you don't want to stitch over your basting stitches. And 
and I'm just going to go ahead and stitch it and making sure that I'm not catching any of the previous seam allowance underneath because that if you do catch that seam allowance it will pop through on the right side of the garment and you don't want to have that happen. go nice and slow. Most times this is not done on muslin. This would definitely be done on some delicate types of fabrics. I mean, it can be done on cotton and stuff. If you have a beautiful white blouse, uh, or not white, but any kind of cotton blouse or something, sometimes you'll see that they'll do this seam as well. Just clip my threads. Sorry, I dropped it. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and remove my second row of basting stitches. And the X's that you see on there always represent the back side for me. Go ahead and press it again. I like to press from the underside first. So that's my back side, and then this is my front. You see how it's nice? It's got a nice flat seam. You can also come back and press on the front if you feel like your garment um, still needs some more pressing, but just be careful not to overpress either. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So instead of having a binding or a serging, this is another way of finishing the seams on the inside. And that's it.